Fortnite just added a brand new free bundle for you guys to claim before the Fracture Live event. Along with tons of brand new free rewards that you guys want to make sure you are claiming before the event starts. We will be going into a direct downtime once the Fracture Live event is obviously finished before we move into Chapter 4. Which means all of these rewards will be completely locked forever. But just quickly, my dog Nelly is still super upset that 75% of you guys have not yet subscribed. Which means you are missing out on a chance for a free gift inside of the Fortnite item shop. As we do get 5 new and all subscribers every single day inside of it. So if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. And drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID. Also, be sure to keep your eyes open for the secret word hidden in this video as it gives you an increased chance of getting a gift from me. Finally, if any of you guys have been picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself, do consider using my support creator code, YTORA, as it already supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag F. And with all of that being said, let's get straight into today's video. So at the time of recording this video, we are 7 days away from the upcoming Fracture and Live event, which is honestly going to be one of the biggest live events we've ever seen in Fortnite. We already do know that this event will be lasting a total of 40 minutes. If you are attending, I would make sure you boot up the Fortnite a few hours beforehand, as limited space is obviously available for this upcoming event. Well, we also have tons of live event rewards that you want to make sure you are unlocking as a part of this upcoming Chapter 3 finale. The very first one being this brand new backling, as you can see right here, called the Zero Fragment. It's more or less a holographic backling where you can see in the middle of it, we can actually see the zero point and what looks to be some chrome. This is obviously what will be going down in the opening event itself. And also, you will be getting a brand new loading screen, as you can see this right here. You can see Agent Jones and the Bush Ranger looking at the reality tree, which does seem to actually be changing as it does actually have some cracks in it. This may actually be happening in the event itself, or obviously we will see the reality tree can be completely destroyed. You do know that this is going to be a super important part of the upcoming event, because if you do actually head over to the Herald Sanctum and you do actually take a look at the Herald before she obviously sees you, you can see that she is looking into a portal what looks to obviously have the reality reality tree in it. Thanks to a loading screen that we could actually unlock as a part of the Herald cosmetics, we may have actually gotten a look at what may be going down here. We do see the Herald standing in front of the reality tree and obviously everything around it is turning into chrome. The loading screen itself is actually called Nothing Is Happening. It obviously is another Fortnite character that we have yet to see the reveal of as we do know that the Nothing is actually going to be an upcoming skin soon. Here's what that does look like up on screen, I have to say it definitely looks really sick. Now we do currently know that there is one more encrypted file left inside of the game right now. We did just have one of them decrypted yesterday which actually does show us the new Fortnite crew pack which is called Joni the Red and I have to say the skin definitely looks pretty sick and actually will have some more upcoming cosmetics a part of the same set arriving in the game soon. They did say at the very end of the blog post for this new pack is and speaking of the future you may see another member of the high stakes club soon like very soon. Most likely going to be one of the skins that you can see on the loading screen as these were actually shown to us on an epic game survey so maybe they may even end up being inside of the chapter 4 season 1 battle pass. Obviously only time will tell. That means with the final encrypted pack inside of the game files may even be a bonus reward for the upcoming live event as well, which may even be the brand new nothing skin. It pretty much is confirmed that he will be appearing in the upcoming live event alongside with the Herald. You may even be seeing the return of the Cube Queen as well, considering she obviously is a part of the last reality as well, and we did see her during the chapter 2 finale event when obviously we did flip the map over. Then and obviously transitioned us into Fortnite Chapter 3. I would make sure you were obviously putting time away in your schedule to obviously be able to attend the live event. Later, you may actually be getting a brand new free skin just by attending. Which then should be granted on your account by the first week we do obviously move into Chapter 4 Season 1. Later, we will be going into a 2 day downtime once the Fracture live event is over. And well not only that we actually do have another reward that you guys will be able to get as well for free which is actually going to be this brand new emote right here. It is called the Toasty Roast and how you guys actually get this brand new emo is literally by logging on to Fortnite anytime between the December 2nd and December 3rd. This reward should automatically be granted to you on your Fortnite account on those days. This is actually said to be a synced emo, meaning you can actually do it with your friends considering we have this icon for it. Definitely a lot of really cool rewards for the upcoming Fracture Live event. You also have some other rewards that you want to make sure you're unlocking before the end of the season regardless considering obviously they will be gone. Which has all of the Paradise quests, considering we'd obviously get these storyline related quests every single season. If you do complete each and every single one of them in that season, you normally get some sort of exclusive reward in the next season. We did actually get this loading screen as you can see right here by completing all of the resistance quests back inside of season 2. It's definitely a pretty cool 
then inside of season three, we also did actually have this back bling, which you could have gotten as well from those challenges. Obviously, that reward will be revealed when we do get the brand new chapter four update. So make sure you are completing all of the paradise quests in game if you haven't already. Well, obviously, we still have the Rocket League quests available to do in game as well. We're obviously you need to do some challenges relating to the brand new Octane car. Playing some really easy creative maps there are obviously super easy to get. And you can get some brand new edits those for the backboard backlink. And also get yourself a brand new Rocket League themed pickaxe. There's only a few days left to actually complete these challenges, so make sure you are completing them as obviously once they are gone, they're gonna be gone forever. Well, just in general, we obviously still have the availability of the Chrome Punk skin, which actually will be expiring on January 1st of 2023. Which means you have little over a month left to actually get that skin by leveling up a total of 50 times. Obviously, you will get yourself a brand new back bling alongside the loading screen, and then the final reward obviously is the Chrome Punk skin itself. So this will be a little bit easier to actually get at the very start of Fortnite Chapter 4. For, especially if you do actually buy yourself the battle bundle. Considering that will obviously put you to roughly level 26, which is more than half the levels you do actually need to get the Chrome Punk skin. We also have another free skin that you want to make sure you're unlocking alongside the rest of the skin bundle. This is actually going to be the Refer a Friend 2.0, where you can get yourself the Xander skin alongside the back bling, harvesting tool, and also a weapon wrap by obviously doing all the Refer a Friend challenges. This will also be expiring in the month of January of 2023, and that's obviously really, really close now. You can do these challenges by using an alt account on your mobile device, which makes doing the Refer a Friend 2.0 that much easier. Obviously, by the time these challenges are over, we most likely will be getting the Refer a Friend 3.0, which will be giving us an all brand new free skin to claim alongside some other rewards. And if you guys remember, obviously we did actually have some challenges recently for the Horde Rush mode. You could actually get yourself the Pickle Rick Backlink, which obviously was a part of that actual event. But obviously those challenges are now completely gone and you can't actually get the Backlink anymore. It does turn out that this Backlink will actually be making its way inside of the Fortnite item shop pretty soon. With the latest update, we actually got this image added, which obviously shows us the Pickle Rick Backlink alongside with a new loading screen. It's actually set to be appearing inside of the item shop, so if you guys obviously missed out on that you can actually go ahead and buy it now but i personally think it's pretty cool considering obviously you had a chance to actually get it for free but if you really do want it you can go ahead and pay for it obviously if you're already on the back wing the chances are you will be able to claim the loading screen for free so all of the rick and morty cosmetics obviously return to the fortnite item shop well for the final set of rewards is obviously going to be the season four battle pass for everybody who obviously bought it and obviously didn't buy it there are actually 30 free tiers that you can actually get as a part of the chapter three season four battle pass. There are some pretty cool ones such as Bracklings and also pickaxes and emotes you don't actually have to pay a penny for. So make sure you're obviously getting those if you haven't already. Well, if you did buy the battle pass, just make sure you have obviously finished off each and every single one of your tiers. Alongside with all of the bonus rewards that we still have, such as all of the different edit styles and super level edit styles. Not to forget the fact that we obviously still have the Herald that's a secret skin, which you want to make sure you're unlocking as well, considering it's going to be a big part of the Fracture live event. And also all of the Bites quest, which is obviously for the Bites skin itself where you can get different edit styles for the pickaxe for him it actually is a part of the upcoming live event as well considering all of those challenges you are actually doing some stuff for the nothing himself you actually have an idea of what exactly will be happening once we go into a downtime for the brand new chapter obviously back inside of chapter one we obviously did have the black hole downtime then in chapter two we obviously did have our character stuck in the ocean and we did get closer and closer to the chapter three island it is looking like for the ending of chapter three we actually will end up in space and we will actually have to watch the brand new Fortnite island being formed right in front of us. The latest teaser for the Fracture event did say that the island's reality is deteriorating, followed by it's up to you to reforge it. It looks like we're gonna have our very first look at the chapter 4 map in the next upcoming days once we're in the downtime. Unfortunately guys, that is all I pretty much have for you in today's video. For the secret word of today's video, it is going to be the word Herald. So if you did watch all the way to the very end of this video, be sure to drop that word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and thanks for watching.